Cancer is the second leading cause of death in the U.S. Prostate cancer specifically will affect 14% of men each year, and approximately 26,730 men will die in 2017 from this cancer alone, according to the American Cancer Society. The exact causes of prostate cancer remain unknown, yet researchers have made many advancements in the past decades. As with many cancers, prostate cancer occurs when cells begin to mutate and grow uncontrollably. When there's a lack of blood supply to the bones, cytokines replicate errors in DNA transcription, causing tumors to grow. Because the prostate is near the pelvic bone, many of these tumors spread to the prostate itself, resulting in cancer. The main risk factors of prostate cancer are known and include age, 60% of the diagnosis occur within men over 65, ethnicity, African American men are more likely to contract prostate cancer, and family history. Some men may never need treatment for prostate cancer or even experience symptoms of it. In fact, many men above the age of 80 will die of old age without ever knowing they had prostate cancer. For those who are diagnosed, there are currently a few different treatment options depending on the stage of their cancer. These include surgery, radiation therapy, hormone therapy, freezing the prostate tissue, chemotherapy, and biological therapy. Side effects of these treatments consist of painful and or frequent urination, hot flashes, weight gain, loss of bone mass, and typical side effects of chemotherapy, such as hair loss, nausea or vomiting, and weakness and fatigue. Chemotherapy and biological therapy are also very expensive treatments. The remainder of this video will explore the use and benefits of gold nanoparticles in drug delivery for the treatment of prostate cancer. Using nanomaterials as methods of delivery in medicine is a fairly new development that shows a very promising future. Gold nanoparticles can be used as a means to transport both small molecules such as drugs and large molecules like DNA and proteins throughout the body. The gold nanoparticles used for this particular type of drug delivery are composed of a gold core with a monolayer on the outside. The gold core is non-toxic and relatively inert so that it is safe for the body. The monolayer is a part of the nanoparticle that contains the drug and other molecules necessary for successful treatment. These nanoparticles have unique physical and chemical properties that allow it to be a favored candidate for drug delivery. The surface chemistry of gold nanoparticles can be altered, allowing it to be coated with small polymers and other therapeutic agents such as these cancer-treating drugs. This enables the patient's DNA to be transcribed onto the nanoparticle so that the body doesn't treat it as an invader and reject it. In synthesizing gold nanoparticles, a common approach is to make colloidal gold by citrate synthesis. Colloidal gold is made up of gold nanoparticles suspended in solution. This process involves using a magnetic strip and hot plate to stir the solution until it boils. Then, sodium citrate is added, creating uniformly sized particles. The color will change to red to indicate the presence of gold nanoparticles of about 10 to 20 nanometers in size. The color of the solution is size dependent. The redox reaction describes gold ions reacting with citrate ions to create the nanoparticles. The citrate ions act as a shielding agent to create an electrostatic sheath around each nanoparticles to stabilize them in the solution. Particles used in this drug delivery have a spherical design. In nanomedicine, one of the largest challenges involves figuring out how to improve targeting and adhesion efficiency between nanoparticles and cells by altering the shape, size, and material composition of the nanoparticles. While studies are beginning to show that non-spherical particles are more effective than spherical particles, researchers do not yet fully understand the shape effect non-spherical particles have on cancerous cells. In terms of size, their diameter is less than 170 nanometers so that they can effectively fit through and diffuse inside cells and capillaries. Additionally, these nanoparticles are charged. Due to their charge, the nanoparticles experience repulsion, which prevents them from aggregating. Furthermore, the charge on the nanoparticles simply helps them interact with the cells better. When it comes to delivering the chemotherapeutic drugs, the gold nanoparticles act as vectors and target the cancer cells while having the drugs attached. Docetaxel and doxorubicin are two of the most important cancer-treating drugs currently being used today with nanoparticles. The particles are conjugated with doxorubicin, which act as the toxoid, to make up the vector drug ensemble pictured. The nanoparticle then acts as a magic bullet and, through injection, is able to permeate the tumor and direct the toxoid to the source. 
The vectors accumulate within the tumor and the vector drug ensemble dissociates to release the toxoid. The toxoid causes apoptosis, which is the death of cells, in this case, death of the cancer cells. This form of treatment is currently being used on mice and has not yet been approved for humans, although docetaxel has already been FDA approved for cancer treatment. The side effects of this treatment are much less severe compared to traditional chemotherapy and radiotherapy treatments, so scientists continue to research in an effort to make it possible to be used for not only prostate cancer, but any other types of cancer as well. Entry into the cells and capillaries depends on the size, charge, hydrophobicity, composition, and shape of the nanoparticle. The nanoparticles could potentially directly diffuse across the cell's plasma membrane in which the size and charge play a large role in facilitating. They could also use endocytosis or ion channels to enter, but with the physical parameter of the gold nanoparticles, it is likely that diffusion would be the best route. Medicinal advancements are heavily dependent on how efficient the delivery of the drug is. This is especially vital to the treatment of many cancers since the main problem in treatment is determining which cells need to be targeted. Gold nanoparticles allow chemotherapy drugs to more effectively treat prostate cancer by dosing the cells that are targeted. Their size, shape, charge, and composition enable them to possibly replace current methods of drug delivery as they work with existing drugs in a safer manner.